Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple card matching game in Java. So let's start with our board and it's going to be 4x4. Four four. So public static string board new string going to be 4 by 4 and I will write an array to store our cards and it's going to be 4 by 4 as well so public static string cards new string it's going to be 4 by 4. And we need a scanner to get rows and columns from players. So public static scanner scanner equals new scanner. I will write a function to print our board. So public static void prints board. So we need a for loop for i less than four. Plus. And we need a function to shuffle cards every time, every time starting a new game. So I will write a random object to generate indexes, an array list to store our letters, and I will have two from each letter, so I will add each letter twice. And we need a for loop to place random letters from our array list to each boxes in our board. After placing a letter, I will remove it from the array list. So let's write public shuffle cards. Random, random, new random. Letters, new array list, string. So let's add the letters, letters dot add. I'm going 
going to copy and paste it. to add them twice. Okay, now I will have an index integer. Now we will place the words, place letters, and i equals zero. Less than four, plus plus four, integer j equals zero, j less than four, j plus plus. And now we will generate a new index for the for the each you know, for the each boxes and we will, you know, we will choose words randomly. We will choose letters randomly from our array list. So cards i j equals letters dot get index. And index will be random dot next int letters dot size and letters dot remove index. So now we need a function to check the input from the user with a while true loop. If the game over function, which I will define later, equals false, I will check if the letter is already answered. If not, I will print the letter and get the second row and column. If the letter is matched with the first letter, it will be correct. So let's. Let's write our function. Public static void check input. I will pass cars uh, and, and multidimensional array as a parameter. It's going to be a string array. Now I will write the game over function. If there is no box to play, it will return true 
otherwise it will return false. So public static boolean game or So in our main loop, I will write the usual stuff, welcome players, and loop until the game ends. So I will write the main function. So first we shuffle the cards and add underscores to our board, then print the board and call our check input function and break the loop. And there we go. Let's run this and test it. So that's all for this video, I hope you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video for more videos, see you next time.